Well, when MRN picked up the broadcasts, it was something, you know, I've volunteered to do. I've enjoyed these sports cars, watching them and following them over the years. Uh, we broadcast, well, did the public address announcing for the Rolex 24 for so many years. And quite honestly and selfishly, this also gave me a chance to do broadcasts at racetracks that I had only heard of over the years. Well, Pre-planning on radio is far different than pre-planning for television. TV has all sorts of production meetings, phone conference calls, this, that, and the other. MRN, you're basically responsible for your own self. You have to know how to prepare for what you are going to talk about. So I talk to drivers, I'll go online, I'll uh, participate in conference calls, but basically I'll sit down and just kind of download my brain onto the paper. I save all of my notes. So last year's trip to Road America, I cross-referenced in time for this year's trip. Same thing for Mid-Ohio. If we have new races, new tracks like Belle Isle or Indianapolis, you know, you start from scratch. But yeah, I do a lot of preparation and realistically you won't use five to seven percent of the stuff that you have with you but it's just so comforting to know when you go up into the booth if there's a major problem if the race is stopped if there's whatever you've got tons of stuff to talk about but in radio it's pretty much incumbent upon each broadcaster to prepare for him or herself uh, we're not big on meetings around here when we get to the racetrack, after dropping our bags in our production truck, we go right into the garage or paddock area, talk to the drivers, talk to the car owners, the crew chiefs, the team managers, the Continental Tire folks. You just kind of wander around. And then if you stumble upon something particularly interesting, well, then you'll take out your recorder and you will get an interview on what we used to call tape, now it's on a smart media card, and then over the course of the next day or so you'll cut that interview up and have it available for broadcast. We swung by and talked to other drivers just to get background information, and stuff will stick in your brain, believe it or not, and you know, most of the muscles on my body aren't in great shape, but your brain is a muscle too and you can train it to retain information. Something will be said on the broadcast and all of a sudden it triggers, hey, I've got a comment that such and such told me about this, that, or the other. And you just, it just flows right out. So you get all the information in the infield, in the garage. Never has a driver come to the truck to tell you something. You've got to go and chase it.